Hi and welcome to another 5 minute tip. In this tip we're going to look at two extremely simple problems and fixes for things that can happen when you're using the extrude tool. Now the extrude tool is a very simple, very basic tool in Cinema 4D and in most 3D programs. But in Cinema 4D there are a couple things that can trip you up. So we're just going to look at those really quickly. Now this first one was inspired by one of my viewers who wrote in to me. A lot of my 5 minute tips are inspired that way. And he essentially had an issue where he wanted to select these two polygons. Let me make this object blue instead so we can see what's happening a little bit better. He wanted to take these two polygons and he wanted to extrude them inwards like that but not have this weird bit happening here at the bottom. So I'm just going to use the extrude tool this time. It works the same way. So this is a funny one because what's essentially happening is the geometry is overlapping itself. We have one polygon here and then another polygon underneath here. And you can see how as I rotate it flickers back and forth because these two planes are literally occupying the exact same space. Something that can't happen in the real world, but we can do that in 3D. Now I don't have a magical trick on how to make this go away, but I do have a bit of a technique I use. What I typically do is I select all the polygons that are on the bottom face and I delete them. So step one is to select all of those. Step two is to delete. And you probably want to delete this one as well. Now what we have is sort of an open shell. Now we can deal with this. The easiest way to fill that up is to use the close polygon hole tool right up here. So the way this one works is you click it and then you just hover over the hole. It creates sort of a temporary shape and then you just click once and it fills it. And that will give you your nice geometry that you were looking for. Now it is an n-gon and n-gons don't work particularly well with uh, de deformers and UV mapping and other stuff like that. So what you can do is you can actually just triangulate the n-gon. Uh, let's see. So remove n-gons would be the command we want. And that sort of creates quads out of the polygons that remain. So depending on how important the geometry is down here, you might want to neaten that up yourself. And uh, you know, I can I can see one thing we can do right away is that we can just use our knife tool, and we can just cut right across. And what that does is it enables us to take these pairs of triangles and essentially untriangulate them. So now we have our quads back, and we have the bottom the bottom of our shape. Now we could have created this manually. But using the Close Polygon Hole tool is a nice technique that I like. The other thing that can trip you up when working on an object like this is the Extrude tool itself. Let's say we wanted to select this cross of polygons right here. Extrude up once, then select the center polygon and extrude. Now with the default settings it works fine. We can extrude up. And then we can select the middle one and we can extrude again. And it looks good if we rotate into the center of the object and sort of look around from inside. You can see that it looks the way we'd expect. Actually, if I change the focal length of the camera, we can see a little bit better. So that looks pretty good, but what's going to happen to you at some point is you are going to turn on the Create Caps option, and you're going to get something that looks pretty good initially. See, so far it looks the same. But when you look inside the object, and you look up, you're going to see something a little bit strange. 
we're not seeing the inside of that shape. And it's basically because the extrude tool has created extra geometry that has created sort of a pocket up here. And then more extra geometry up top. Now this is a problem because what we essentially have is we have all of these polygons where they don't belong. So the easiest way I have figured out to get rid of these is basically just to delete them by hand. Sometimes you've spent a lot of time modeling something and you don't necessarily want to go back and uh, just delete everything. So what you can do is you can select a few of these polygons that you know are supposed to be here. And then you can go to the select menu and you can say hide selected. So what that's going to do is it's going to tear away those polygons so you can see on the inside. That way you can now click and you can delete the cross of polygons and this extra polygon that was created when that option was turned on. So the inside now looks the way it should look. And then you can just go back to the select menu and say unhide all and you get your object back. Now if we go inside the object and we look up, it looks like it should. So these are two really basic techniques and if you're really good at polygonal modeling you probably knew these already but I thought I'd share them anyway because there's always someone out there who's just looking for a little bit of help and might be stuck. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. I think it was a very simple one but it might be useful. So until next time, see ya!